In recent years, both Samsung and Apple have drawn criticism for releasing new flagship smartphones that offer minimal improvements over their predecessors. The technological advancements, particularly in hardware, have slowed significantly, with phones like the Samsung Galaxy S24 and Apple's iPhone models seeing incremental updates in camera quality, chipsets or design. These annual releases still occur for several reasons, including the competition, market expectations and the psychological lure of owning the latest gadget which drives sales even when the tech has not seen substantial upgrades. Samsung and Apple are locked in a fierce competition not just with each other but with emerging brands like Xiaomi, Oppo and Vivo which push innovation in non-US markets. To maintain their dominance and visibility these companies feel compelled to release new devices yearly, even if the differences are minor. Moreover, manufacturers have honed in on the idea of incremental progress, adding small yet noticeable improvements over time. This marketing strategy helps create a perception of innovation without necessarily pushing technological boundaries. From a psychological perspective, owning the latest smartphone taps into the desire for status and newness. Many consumers are drawn to the allure of having the latest and greatest, even when the improvements are not groundbreaking. Additionally, marketing campaigns around these releases often leverage FOMO or fear of missing out convincing consumers that they need to upgrade to stay current. People buy into the idea that even minor upgrades, like a faster chip or a slightly better camera, will meaningfully improve their lives. Brand loyalty also plays a crucial role. Many customers are deeply entrenched in either the Apple or Samsung ecosystem with the former known for its seamless integration of devices like the iPhone, iPad and Apple Watch. This interconnectivity encourages users to continue upgrading within the same brand, reinforcing customer retention even when the upgrades are subtle. Minimal Hardware Differentiation Another factor contributing to the perception that there's little improvement in these new models is the hardware landscape. Most smartphones today, regardless of the brand, contain similar components. For example, nearly all high-end phones use processors designed by ARM, whose architecture powers chips like the Snapdragon series, which are used in many Android phones or Apple's Bionic series. This standardization limits how much innovation companies can introduce within a short time frame. Cameras, memory and display technologies have also plateaued in terms of significant advancements, making yearly hardware updates seem superficial. The role of the ARM chip ARM's architecture is used across various devices, from smartphones to tablets, smartwatches and even laptops. ARM chips are prized for their power efficiency and performance, especially in mobile computing, allowing devices to balance processing power and battery life. As a result, ARM-based chips dominate the market making it challenging for brands to differentiate significantly between generations of phones when they all rely on the same foundation. The ARM chip's presence in nearly all smartphones means that manufacturers are constrained by the same design limitations and performance ceilings. Thus, the main points of differentiation come down to software and ecosystem rather than hardware. 
consumer behaviour and the future of smartphones. Despite these minimal year-over-year -year improvements, consumers continue to upgrade regularly. This behaviour is reinforced by aggressive marketing, limited time trade-in offers and financing plans that make upgrading more accessible. The annual cycle is also driven by consumer contracts with carriers, which often provide subsidies or upgrade incentives every two years. These factors create a feedback loop where manufacturers release incremental updates because they know that many consumers will continue to buy them. Looking forward, the question is whether this cycle will persist or if there will be a shift in how consumers and manufacturers approach smartphone innovation. Some argue that innovation is stagnating with fewer wow features driving the need for new models. But as artificial intelligence, augmented reality and sustainability become more important in the tech world, these could provide new avenues for innovation beyond traditional hardware improvements. Ultimately, consumers will need to decide whether owning the latest model is worth the upgrade when the technological leaps are so small. For now, the yearly release cycle persists, but change could be on the horizon. Manufacturers could take a more meaningful approach by extending the life cycle of their flagship models. Instead of releasing new models annually, they could focus on longer development cycles that introduce substantial upgrades every two to three years. This would allow them to invest more resources in groundbreaking innovations, such as improved battery technology, significant camera enhancements, or new AI-driven features. Additionally, manufacturers could focus on software longevity and ecosystem integration, enhancing the user experience through more robust software updates and device compatibility across multiple generations, rather than pushing minor hardware tweaks annually. Join the discussion. What are your thoughts on the current state of smartphone innovation? Do you think the annual cycle of flagship releases should slow down, or do you enjoy the excitement of a new model every year? Share your thoughts in the comments and keep the conversation going.